Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and today I want to talk about INTP Poker Face. So what I've noticed is INTPs often make kind of the ideal secret assassins of our society. And while we don't really operate with sacred assassins anymore, I think INTPs make excellent poker players or excellent Among Us players. You know why INTPs are so good at the these kind of games and why they are so uh, why they find such appeal in playing these kind of games and while what it is about the INTP that draws them to these kind of roles I think it's because uh, when it comes to having a poker face or uh, operating in the dark I think INTPs value these positions because it takes them away from the tribe so when you operate in the dark you don't have to think about public appearance you don't have to worry about how you come across you don't have to spend so much energy uh, explaining what it is that you do and I think that's something that is very taxing for an INTP. I think as an INTP to have to report to a manager and to explain your thought process, how you work, how what you're doing, your current projects, your pro progress on a task or a goal. I think that's a very energy draining and stressful. And I know a lot of INTPs, they tend to talk about these things as stressors, you know, constantly having to perform, uh, constantly having to explain yourself and uh, having to deal with the social game and having to get other people's permission, um, you know, because you, it's not enough to just have an idea. It's also you have to get the group or your workplace to buy into the idea and to give you permission to explore it. And so a lot of what an INTP does, they do in secret. And uh, so I think it's common for INTPs to be the kind of people at work that, well, they take an idea, they come up with a project and then they execute it without asking anybody about it. And then uh, only at the end when they're finished, they will go to their manager and say, hey, this is what I've been working on. And then they will come with this perfect idea and they will have uh, planned it all out and they will have uh, uh, made some basic sketches or they will finish the whole thing, you know. And they'll say, hey, I did this. Do you like it? Yes or no? Okay, let's put it together. So as an INTP, I think when it comes down to uh, having a poker face, I think there's also another level that's very good to talk about and that is uh, because INTPs don't value uh, and put their own emotions into their own decisions, it's not easy to read an em INTP's emotions in their face. So you can't guess what an INTP is feeling because the INTP is actively distancing and detaching themselves from their own emotions. They try to make decisions that are rational in their nature, uh, looking at, okay, what is it I can do? What are my logical options? How can I do this better? What uh, logical standards can I employ to make sure this is successful? What uh, uh, things have other people done and how successful have they been in those tasks? And what can I do better and what can I do differently? Uh, in these uh, frameworks. So when an INTP does that, I, their face is completely calm, you know, it's, uh, um, it's a blank slate. You can look at an INTP and you can be completely clueless as to what they're thinking. And so as uh, friends and family members or loved ones of INTPs, it can be like, uh, what is he thinking or what is she thinking and does she actually like me or does he actually like me <laughs> or, or it can be like you have no idea because uh, it's not something they often publicly reveal it's more something that's happening in there and that doesn't mean it's not happening you know obviously the emotions are still there and the values still are there but often it's that INTPs uh, think first and feel second and uh, so you only really see an INTP's uh, uh, true hand when you know when they're at the when they're at the final round of Texas uh, Hold'em and they're putting down all their cards and you see their smile, you see everything, and you're like, oh, there we go. Okay, I'm ready. I'm let's go. You know, that's when you know an INTP. Um, um, it's there because when at the final round when they can put all the cards on the table, that's when an INTP's emotions come to the surface. So uh, that's also true for I think uh, in love and relationships, and I think that's uh, an INTP only plays their hand publicly when they're at the final round and when they feel they are at the final round. So 
uh, you only know if nine, what 9TP feels after they've gone over logically all the options. Do we work together? Does this and that trait that you have match with this and that trait that I have? Do Are we in sync? Are our conversations good? Is everything flowing? Okay, when everything feels in place and we've made decisions about a house and where to live and whether to have a dog and how many kids to have, okay, then I'll show you that I like you. And uh, that can feel quite different because uh, I think a lot of people are thinking that in relationships you have to start with first oh I really like you and oh I really care about you and now we have to somehow fit our lives together and come up with a way to make it all work uh, but uh, that's not always the case with INTP otherwise uh, we're talking about um, you know the secret operative archetype or the secret uh, agent role I think INTPs uh, also like this because uh, when you operate in the dark you can be truly original you don't have to um, discipline your own creativity or imagination there is no idea that is too far-fetched no possibility that is too far out there you can basically think whatever you like you can come up with any idea you can examine any viewpoint and nobody's gonna care because nobody knows and so it's a position of liberty uh, for an INTP and uh, it really helps you uh, access uh, introverted intuition which is your play function. Uh, INTPs they have NI play, introverted intuition as the play function that means they enjoy going over philosophy and existential matters from a purely open-ended and creative way. Uh, so they don't need to produce anything in this position you know their thoughts don't have to lead anywhere. They can, it can be just hypotheticals, it can be just for fun, you know, you're just uh, playing with logical hypothetical scenarios and it, you're never going to do anything with it and it's not going to contribute to work or society, it's just something you do because it's fun. So INTPs can also like this role because of uh, the creative potential of having no restrictions and no judgment. Uh, because, you know, society can be quite judgmental, you know, it can be that people have uh, social norms, what you can say, what you're not allowed to say, what you're supposed to do, how you're, how you're supposed to do it, that's a big one, you know. It's not just that you're not allowed to uh, have ideas, but it's that you have to have ideas in a certain process and you have to discuss it with other people and you have to make sure everyone's on board and you have to first ask for permission and then you have to say it in a way that people will like and you have to present it and uh, communicate it and uh, think about how you communicate it and so um, that's quite exhausting because that also limits the ideas that you can have because you can have to find yourself having to compromise and say okay uh, even though this is the best way of doing this or even though I'm just creatively playing with different options and I haven't decided yet, I'm not allowed to speak my mind because uh, other people are going to cut me off or they're going to shut me down or they're going to uh, accuse me of being unethical or for being stupid or irrational or too creative or too crazy or too far out there. Uh, when in reality I'm just, uh, I need to have my process and I need to allow myself to have my process. Now. When you're an INTP and when it comes to relationships, uh, obviously uh, you cannot uh, play this uh, uh, poker face too far and uh, you have to let some people in. And I, what I notice is uh, a lot of INTPs and ISTPs, they can come off as quite closed and that can kind of limit their options. So while sometimes it can increase your options to uh, play your cards behind your back and to take it one step at a time and to weigh the situation and to analyze what everyone else is going to do first. Sometimes uh, you need to recruit people, you need to uh, let people in on your secrets, you have to uh, have some people you can keep in the loop. So you have to have some people in your life, uh, some friends, some uh, family members or teachers or so that uh, allow you to have your process and to allow you to uh, share and to create and to have discussions and to go back and forth and to uh, have discussions and weigh pros and cons as people that you can discuss things with because uh, um, ultimately introverts are not uh, meant to be uh, people hiding in caves. 
introverts are not, you, you know, you can make this logical assumption that as an introvert, okay, I get energy from being alone and therefore I should always be alone. But the uh, real conclusion is uh, introverts get energy from uh, not having to uh, force themselves to be out there. But they can perfectly enjoy being in a group setting or being with people if they are allowed to be 100% themselves. So it's the, the problem, the, the reason why I, introverts can find it draining to be around other people is because introverts find it exhausting to compromise themselves and their behavior and their actions around other people. But as an INTP, if you have people where you can be fully yourself 100% and where no idea is too crazy or where no argument or discussion is off topic or uh, off the table, um, that can actually give you energy and that can actually be a helpful way for you to challenge your intellect and your creativity to the next level. So INTPs, have you noticed uh, people ever accused you of having too much of a poker face and how do you deal with your poker face and when do you know when to let your guard down and to let people in and when do you know to play your cards behind your back and to keep through it to yourself. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video.